All right, guys, I think we're back. I think we're back. should be live live so okay now we're back live live all right okay so once again sorry about that it was totally my fault uh, like I was saying a minute ago my live pack I broke it a week ago week and a half ago so it just completely crapped out on me so we're back I'm on my backup internet. Hopefully, we're not going to have any issues with it tonight. Um, hopefully, we're not going to have any issues with it tonight. All right. Brent, hey buddy, how's it going? Thanks for thanks for jumping on here. Sorry about the stopping and starting, but uh, like I said, my 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 live pack crapped out on me, and so we should be stable now. We should be ready to go for the rest of the night. We are ready to go. Forgot to tell you that I'm live. All right. Yeah, yeah. Zero. Man, I'm sorry. Hey, your screen name, do you pronounce it Zyro or Zero? Like, like, like a zero. Zero Foxtrot or Zyro Foxtrot? Appreciate it, Brent. Thank you. Still trying to work out all the bugs. I, you know, th I'm still trying to get my setup here. You know, set up, set up. Zero. Okay, perfect. Still trying to get my setup. You know, kind of established. Um, we're gonna start. Uh, like I was talking about, I don't know, last week or whenever it was. We're gonna start having actual guests come in here. We're gonna we're gonna have multiple camera views, and it's gonna be pretty awesome. I'm looking for a, uh, I guess you would call him a producer, uh, to help to help you know run the cameras, run the audio. They'll sit in the back seat. So if anybody's interested, and you know you want to uh, produce the this show, send me a message and uh, let's talk about it. See, see if we can't come to, you know, a salary agreement and all that good stuff. Uh, Spanish speaker with an interpreter. Female caller sounds to be in distress, and there's knocking heard in the background. Here, Carrie, 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 zero, zero foxtrot. Uh, all right, well, I just missed that call. Sounds like somebody got hurt. Odor investigation.
Okay, there's my pin. Adam Horner, we cleared a turn route as well. It's going to be a two vehicle collision. They are blocking. Both are going to be Ford F 150s. Yep, Rudy's. You got it, brother. This is Rudy's. So once again, what are we doing? We're going to go South Austin or North Austin tonight. I know somebody said 6th Street. Downtown is not a good idea. We can't to cover, really. There's just too much traffic. Yeah, Brent, this is Lamar. Crossing Lamar in 38th right now. But remember, I'm on a delay. So by the time you see this, I'm going to be about 15 to 20 seconds down the road. My gut tells me south. That's kind of why I'm headed that way, I think. Just wanted to know what you guys thought. SIDS, what was SIDS? Hey, Dennis. Yeah, South Side, South Austin usually, it's usually a shit show on the weekends. So we're going to head down that way right now. Tomorrow during the day, I'm going to be headed up to, uh, I'm going to go up to the Barton Creek Greenbelt. I want to go in and see what they've been able to clean. They've been out there all week cleaning. Well, off and on all week from what I hear. Man, I love sourdough bread. You want to know, let me tell you something. They have, uh, the, the place that has the absolute best breakfast, it's uh, where you can get like their breakfast sandwich, which has, uh, they make their biscuits there at the restaurant, uh, then it's sausage, some arugula, an egg, it, and that is better half coffee. Better have coffee. They their their biscuits are like sourdough biscuits. They are perfect, man. They're delicious. Dennis says that's my daughter's neighborhood. Uh, well, I hope she's you know doing okay down there. It's it's not the neighborhoods are not really really that bad, but um, they can get that way. I hope she stays safe. Pulling a check while virgin eighty three twelve Burnett. Yeah, that's clear for an unconscious male on the ground. 13-12 it. We just came off of it, and I didn't see an unconscious male. Yeah, check that. Speaker 480. Good. Uh, is it okay if we have EMS RE on this, or do you want me to check around again? That was yeah, way back where we just came right. from. Yeah, Brent, check them out. Better half. It's right there on, uh, I think it's 5th Street. Um, if you go there, they have a really small parking lot in the front. It's it's tiny. And so I always thought that there was no other place to park. But if you go behind the restaurant, there's a street that, goes, that wraps around and goes behind it. They have a huge parking lot out in the back. And I'm telling you right now, their breakfast is freaking yeah, thank you. best, best breakfast sandwich I've ever had, simply because of those sourdough biscuits. Well, I call them sourdough biscuits. They may not call them that. All right, let's see what traffic accidents we got. Oh, man. 4900 block of Opac northbound for two vehicles on the shoulder. Waving people down for help. Uh-oh. You bet, buddy. Anytime, man. And guys, uh, Dennis, Grant, I, I can't remember. I think one of you guys mentioned about coming out for a ride-along. Y'all just send me a message, and y'all can come out anytime with me. No, he needs to be transported out, so we have a good time. Hey, Joe. How are you doing, buddy? My son is in the chat on YouTube. 
Uh-huh. My son Joseph. That's it. Air crash info. That's my other my other channel. Frank 490 You're being good at home, son. We gotta, we gotta get into something. Person stuck in an elevator. That really sucks. I don't like elevators. I don't trust elevators. I'm always scared that the damn thing's gonna fall. Maybe that's an unfounded fear, but it is a fear of mine. Four seven four four. Zero six, eight four. Six seven. Adam. Don't break. For this suspicious unknown on Skyflower Drive, it's a two to three year old. You should check in and watch. Walking by himself. Uh, Get in the chat. Skyflower. Did you want me to upgrade that one to a check welfare? What was that? Abdominal pain. Zero Foxtrot. Hey, I wanted to tell you, I scrubbed the shit out of my windshield today. That way we didn't have any streaks of Austin tonight. <laughs> streaks of Austin. I don't know why the I don't know why, but the streaks drive me absolutely crazy. Uh, on in OBS, I don't know if they really, uh, when it goes out to like X, I don't know if you see them that much. But man, it drives me nuts in here looking at the looking at monitoring the stream in here. But I think it's going to be a lot better because I scrub the hell out of it. Anyway, it is what it is tonight. I'm not dealing with it. If it's if there's streaks, then there's just going to be some streaks tonight. Are you 23 at that location? So just to our left is where just to our left over here is where. Randy Lexvold was found dead in Shoal Creek. Um, I've got a new video coming out. So I covered his death in a video last year, and I've got a, an update video, so to speak, coming out. Uh, his Randy Lexvold's sister, you know, we've, we've been talking now for about a year, and uh, I have basically the whole case file, his autopsy, I have everything, and... I'm telling you right now, that man didn't just fall off the bridge into the water. And also, this latest death, let me let me say this, this latest death that they said was a cardiac arrest or a heart attack, the guy that was found right there on the uh, on the on the on Ladybird Lake. I have a video of the body. And I'm going to tell you right now, if that was a heart attack, I mean, come on. You can look at the body and tell that it had been there a while. It's crazy. Now, I, I would love to make that public, but I just, I can't. I can't do that. But people that have an interest in this case researchers that are researching the drowning deaths around the country um, there's six people that I'm working with and most of them are in California um, I have shown them the video and uh, they all say the same thing I'm saying and William Ramsey is one of one of the guys he's he's the 
William Ramsey has written three books on the drowning deaths, the smiley face killer, whatever you want to call them. And he is probably the foremost authority on the subject. If you have it, if you're interested in the drowning deaths or the, uh, you know, like what's happening in Lady Bird Lake, you need to go check out William Ramsey. Go to go to his Amazon page and read his books. They are the last book that he just put out is basically an encyclopedia on all of the deaths that's happened around the country, including the ones here in Austin. But, talking to these researchers, they all tell me that the video that I have is very, very important and that most people are not going to realize how important that video is. Yeah, they put, yeah, you're right, Brent. They put out that statement that it was a cardiac arrest. So, when the, uh, when the CBS reporter got to the scene... I beat all of the reporters there, but when the CBS reporter got to the scene, um, they uh, they were already saying that EMS is saying it was a cardiac arrest, and that I mean that was before the medical examiner even got there. Beaver Nuggets and Modelo, man, that sounds like a good night. <laughs> man, I appreciate it. I, I'm trying to figure out how to say your your name. Dip how about we just go with Melissa? Thank you, Melissa. I appreciate it so so much. You have no clue how much I appreciate it. Like I said, you folks are the absolute only reason that we we can do this because we are completely demonetized. YouTube was my main source of ad revenue. And they demonetized us, so there's virtually no ad revenue coming in. And um, I mean, we're working bare bones right now. It, it, it's amazing that that I'm even able to keep doing this at this point. But yeah, Brent, it's BS. But yeah, Melissa, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I know people think that that you know we make a uh, that that Dash is bringing in a ton of money, and I'm gonna be honest with you, we may bring in 500, you know, maybe 500 a month right now, and and that's about it. Brett, why did they demonetize? So. Back, okay, so YouTube monetized me at the beginning of last year. That was when I started doing this full time. Uh, and I was putting out a lot of content. And then in December, I got a message from them saying basically that we were a, a dangerous organization. And basically, they don't like putting out the camp videos. And you know, I talked to my attorney. The reason why you don't ever see people, actual faces, in the videos is because there could be an argument that now especially because we have a very progressive leftist DA um, in Texas the law states that if you're in your home you have a right to privacy which means you can't film so a, a progressive DA like Jose Garza could technically come along and say hey these homeless people they're in their camp that's their home that is actually their home and they have a right to privacy and then he could end up charging me with a felony because of it. So I don't put people in these videos because of that reason. I don't put faces. If somebody is in a video, I always get their permission first. Uh, and so anyway, long story short, uh, YouTube said that those videos, uh, it makes us a dangerous organization and they uh, demonetized us. Then I got a message the next day saying, look, uh, why don't you adjust your content and then you can come back and reapply in three months? So I, I don't know. And I, I've reapplied for monetization, but I haven't heard anything yet. Thanks, Melissa. I appreciate it. I think it's important too. Austin is Austin is in a in a state right now that's it's scary the way things are going. 
Um, you know, we have people think it's com a lot of the people that work in the nonprofits in the city. They think it is compassionate to leave people living in the woods and on drugs, and uh, that's that's not the ca that's not compassion. Uh, go ahead and power down the MDC of the unit you're in. You know, we, we need to be people that are on drugs. That, that and, and most all, I'm not going to say all, but most of the people on the street. They are addicted to drugs or alcohol, and with the with the half a billion dollars that we've spent in the last two years, a lot of that money could have went towards uh, uh, could have went towards uh, uh, services for these people, you know, getting them into rehab and getting them off the drugs and then getting them into housing. So we're hoping we can we can push push them you know the city to keep to, to actually do it we're, we're about to start really applying pressure to them but yeah Brent it, it was tough when they demonetized us that I thought it was over in December I was like man it's I think it's pretty much over at this point we can't operate with you know right now we're operating in the in the what do they call it the red I mean we're not making any kind of money we're barely scraping by so I thought it was over, but like I said, you know, thanks to the donations to actually scrape by. So yeah, Melissa, not far from it for sure. I hope you're doing well. And like I said, thank you so much for sending in a donation. I, you have no clue how much it means and how much I appreciate it. I'll never forget who it is that I work for and that's you. check Let's see what we've got here we've got we need to go Sorry guys, I'm trying to look at the at the map and see where we're at and see where the calls are at. I want to show y'all some action tonight. I'm playing on 6th Street during, let's see, I was playing on 6th Street during COVID, met a lot of homeless, and you're right, they are all addicted. Yeah, and you know, they are, and, and what's crazy about that is the people that are supposed to care, the people that are supposed to be helping them, they... They all, you know, they'll tell you, no, they're not, you know, they're not addicted. That's not the reason that they're on the street, you know, and, and that, that's bull. There's always a symptom. There's always a reason that, uh, you know, people are homeless. There's very few people that are homeless by choice. They are out there. Don't get me wrong. For sure, they're out there. But there's not many of them. Holding a check welfare urgent, 3,800 Mount Bonnell. And that is 100% the truth. Her, her own son, pick up her, and they're on Mount Bonnell. 402, clear your mouth. I've always suspected whose car was that. Where's the owner? I do believe the people do. Uh, okay, please. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'll find out that information on that car for you. 
13. Yeah, uh, you know, we had it set up. Uh, I was going to go on Rogan uh, in January at the beginning of the year, and then my dad passed away. And that really, I'll tell you what, my dad passing away was uh, one of the toughest things I've ever been through in my life. And the way it happened, I don't want to get into all that. I want to bore you with the, you know, the, my my problems in my life. But um, I ended up having to cancel, and we haven't been able to reschedule yet. But hopefully, we'll be able to get that rescheduled sometime soon. Yeah, my dad passing away. I I. Man, I'll tell you what, it sent me into a, uh, and I'm still struggling with it, but it, it really, really messed me up. Adam, three ten, second step. All right, let me see what we got going here. Traffic injury on Ben White, 1920 Ben White. East Ben Light, that's it. Thirty-five. That's it, Ben White. Yeah, Melissa, it does. Uh, you know. You go through your life with your parents, and you know I my parents gave me an incredible childhood, and I'm very fortunate. I know you know uh, my wife and I um, trying to give our kids the best life we can give, like I got from my parents. And you go through your life always having your mom and dad, and then all of a sudden one day that's over, and it just. I've never lost uh, someone that close to me before. I completed the Hispanic female blue shirt, black pants. I did find her involvement, but no, nothing recent. And no EDP. So there is a wreck she on Ben White. Prior? Odor investigation. There's yeah, some kind of an that. event going on at uh, so. Circuit of the Americas. That's been going on since 8.30 this morning. 35 on traffic in Baker 40, 15,000 block, Arizona, Oakland. Report of juveniles throwing bricks. Edward 35. So if you guys, uh, if you guys have not uh, downloaded the Citizen app, uh, I want to encourage you to do so because they, uh, uh, Citizen, you got to look at their map. They just updated how the incidents are shown on the map. So if you look at it now, you're going to see like actual icons for the individual, uh, uh, you know, incidents. So if it's a fire, you're going to see a fire. If it's a robbery, you're going to see a ski mask. You know, if it's, you know, an assault, you're going to see, uh, uh, you know, like yeah, a double. fist uh, and so on. Uh, murder, you're going to see a gun. And uh, Citizen, I, con I, I signed a contract with Citizen back in, I believe it was February. And um, I provide them video. Uh, so when I'm out here doing this, I'm also grabbing video for Citizen. And then um, I send it up to them, and then they'll put it out. Which uh, they, citizen, I mean, it, they cut. They were here, and then they cut off, and they they stopped servicing Austin. But now we're pushing really hard to get to get people back on the app, and I think it's working. Uh, you know, we our user base has really grown uh, since we started. Which we went back. Uh, citizen went live again in March. So I want to really encourage you to uh, download the app because it is incredible uh, about how you know you can find out uh, what's happening in this city. Migraine in the express on gate 16. Clear 
there in 2008. Let's see, vehicle collision. Three vehicle on traffic in Baker 10, 2200 block West Wells Branch Parkway. That's range 10 for 43, we're on 183, not 130. 10 for Sorry, I'm looking at the maps, trying to figure out what all's happening and where people are at. That trash fire on the service road was a homeless camp. I'm almost certain of it. Okay, so we are going to go to 9 Kilo Zero, Sam 159973. Edward 7-Eleven on Mopac. Then she forwards you clear by saying Burger Alarm 5800 Mopac. Service road southbound at Frost Bank. What's the car in That's North Lake Drive. Our protesters have left. We're going to remain in the area for a little bit. Actually, they don't move right back, but we're for the floor. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay. Three bigger one. It's returning negative 99. Title only registration should be displaying old license plate. Mary Boy Young, 3559. Expires May of 2020. All right, let's head it's up there. We're going to go to a, a guy that's uh, going between the Frost Bank and the 7-Eleven <laughs> causing some pretty big issues for him. We're Ten minutes out. Thousand block. Okay, well, it sounds like they just canceled. Dang it. They just that you came in, was turned away by guards, refused to leave or show you TID. Our people will be staying by the front desk. They just canceled that call. All right, well, I guess we're not going up there. Yeah, Twelve 
thousand blood. Moto GP. Oh yeah, out at Circuit of the Americas. Okay, I gotcha. Confuse me there for a minute. Uh, and then there was a long uh, for a small lot. If there's 2013. Uh, we got odor investigation. That was 719. So they've been out on that for an hour. So what do y'all think? They're going to be a machete attack tonight? That's all six harbors in route. If there is, uh, if the history or the pattern is, uh, if there is indeed a pattern, then there will be a machete attack tonight. Good. All the good, uh, German violence, 95 on my end. Do 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 do. Lot of homeless folks, man. Thank you, A lot of homeless folks in Austin. The ID card returns to a black male twenty twenty one. Let's get the windows down. Feels good outside. Y'all, there's a chance I may end up losing my voice tonight. Uh, it's been trying to happen for a week now. Been doing a lot of talking the last two weeks. Yep, they got a guy running. We're going to head up that way. We're going up there. Four G's intoxicated. He's moving all over the roadway right now. Four G. I'm, I'm trying to stop him. I'm right behind him. He's doing about 35 right now around the curve. Where are you? Where are you? Headed towards 2022. What would you call it? We're gonna go up. They're chasing the guy up on North Mopac. Up on Mopac. We're gonna head up there. Four G to four eighty. We're doing about forty five right now. If he gives me the chance from the open roadway on twenty two twenty two, I'm gonna try to pit him. So they're going into oncoming traffic right now. He's back on the right side of the roadway. Patrol and college, you can see him. Twenty-two, twenty-two. Thank you, clear. Eastbound on 2222. Oh, King Sam, Pipe and Edit, Henry Everett, Robert, Nora, Adam, Nora, David Edward, Zebra, President Candace, Charles Adam, Nora, David Adam, Charles Edward, BF Black 
Shit, now there's a box alarm. There's a, a uh, structure fire. Alright, we gotta figure out where this box alarm is at. Oh, come on, don't do this now. Fudge! Okay, that's where we're going. We are just a few minutes out from this structure fire. Two, two. Let's see, two, two, zero, zero. Four, two, four, one. We're back at Mount Bunnell Drive. I'm on the bay, he's going back to Mount Bunnell. Okay. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta roll. We're going to a structure fire. It's an apartment, uh, and the kitchen is on fire. We're on Willow Creek Drive, 2200 Willow Creek Drive. Dang Jay Walkers. Baker Force, you'll be back with Baker Force. Get you circles back. Baker Force, go ahead. Is it clear to TV that DOC is at all on good? Yeah, it's that area, Riverside and Old Tour, who's an apartment complex. We'll be there in just a few minutes. Wrong call. 
It's building four. I don't think we're gonna have. I don't think we're gonna have kidnapping, but it's just a 55 driver. <laughs> yep, sure is. Three Baker 41, turn out to a family disturbance at Baker 40, 8712 Old Manor Road. It's gonna be apartment 1207. I think we're going to go and take... Complainants advising of a subject acting frantic. It's going to be a male versus female verbal. No weapons involved. Subject's going to be a Deborah Kerr, date of birth 10, 14, 1973. Yeah, I'm not going 35. It's way backed up. I'm going to go Burleson. 32, checking the six floor. Got it. Man, I don't know why you're going so slow. Are you slowing down? What are you doing? Yeah, that hotel, man. I was there when that hotel burned. That was a crazy fire. Yes, and the family disturbance. We do have the Deborah person on the phone now, advising of a male versus female verbal as well. We are five minutes out. Any additional units, I can go to the District of Tashon in Canterbury. Or my 3323. 10-4. Building 4, that's probably going to be that one right there. I don't know, could be... A known drug user. Why is it whenever I'm trying to get somewhere, they, uh, <laughs> the lights always seem like they take forever? I'm not sure if the subject is going to be ours, but there's a caution that says we have a tender violence, known drug user, Hispanic male. Ladder 22, fire dispatch. Bigger 4, do we get anything else on a reckless driver or call for a collision? Negative. Negative. Here's the rest of the family disturbance. The original complaint is advising subjects going to be a black female last thing wearing a pink Tom and Jerry shirt and blue jeans. Well, that's something you... Is advising David, I thank you, sir. Party. I appreciate it. You're Plans very welcome. Drugs. There are three people total in the residence. You're very welcome. This is what we do. Well, this is not the only thing we do, but this is uh, a lot of what we do now. Yeah, very awkward for us. Can I ask We are almost yeah, yeah. there. Frank, case 03. Go ahead. I don't have to log off. Log it back on. Can you log me off on your end? Yes, well, I'm Priyana. Sorry, log oh, shit. Boo hoo. Central Cross Rock, 739. You know, I don't know what I did to them. I used to get along with those people. Grace Reader, Brianna. I used to get along with them well. And then all of a sudden, it just changed. Like literally, like overnight, it changed. My relationship with KXAM. Uh, are they K or KVU? Whoever they're with. Right. 
referring to the overweight woman who drugs yeah, people. Did I post something about that today? I'll be at 620 in Lomasburg on Texas. Tom X-Ray John 7493. It's, what's odd uh, is they're talking Burger about the druggings, and here, the here's the thing. They, uh, I was just talking, uh, so I have a, a friend, her name is Mary Ann. She is the Texas Bureau Chief for the Daily Mail. Mary Ann and I were just talking today about the druggings and that overweight woman. I didn't post publicly about it, but I was talking to her about it today. I kid you not, we were talking about that case and if it could be connected. And then, wow, that, that maybe that's just a coincidence, but that really makes me feel odd. Oh, you brought it up. Okay, okay. Well, you know, they are the mainstream media, and you know how that is. Uh, the only... I literally have... I have really good friends. I have... I have really good friends in uh, the national media. Uh, Marianne Martinez, she's, with, uh, she's the Texas Bureau Chief for Daily Mail. Uh, Michael up in New York for Fox News. I mean, I have a lot of good friends that are in uh, the main, in the national media, but I literally have one person I would consider a friend in local media, and that's Nabil over at uh, KXAN. Yeah, that's all they do is regurgitate. I don't, I don't, if I find information out, I, I don't even attempt to give it to them. I don't, I don't care to give it to them. I don't want to give it to them. It's not, I have no intention of giving them anything. And like I said, Grace Reader, we used to text and talk all the time. Back during the, uh, uh, the, back in, on December 5th when Shane James was uh, uh, doing his shenanigans here in Austin, she gave me info. Uh, didn't want to be named as a source, uh, but I mean, she didn't want to be, but you know, she was helping me and I, you know, I don't, I just don't get it, man. I just don't get it. I don't know what's happened. Well, anyway, we're pulling up at the, uh, the apartment here that, uh, that was on fire or that is on fire. Whoop. Yeah, that's the thing. And you know what? I was talking to Cleo um, the day that the body was found on, on uh, Lady Bird the other day. We were talking about that, about how, you know, they, they I don't know. It, it's, you know, I've been scooping them every time. I beat them to all of these calls, putting out information before they get a chance to. And... You know what? Maybe if they were out working their beat a little bit harder, they could they could find these stories too. So screw them. You know, it, it's kind of sad because, like nights like tonight and tomorrow night, you know, uh, on Saturday nights, you know, we were I don't know how it's going to be this week, but we were averaging around 2,500 viewers. And, uh, you know, that, that one stream off of X, YouTube and Twitch, um, we, uh, uh, last weekend, or no, it was the weekend before last, we had, that, that stream got over 700,000 views before the weekend was over. <coughs> and they're, they're like, there's no way they're pulling those kind of numbers. It just blows my mind. But yeah, there's no way they're pulling those kind of numbers. I'm gonna see if I can even pull in here. There they are. Oh, an overdose. Well, there's definitely no fire here. There's only one fire truck. Shoot, I think I just wasted my time coming over here. Mm. 
Narcan's been given. That's such a shame. Engine 30. Zero, who are you talking about? The Charlie, only the only straight reporter. Charles Sam Sam 4280. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, yeah, quick quick yeah. There's some um Like I said, Nabil is the only one that I actually trust. Uh Nabil and I get along very well. In fact, you know, when it comes to, uh, you know, what we're doing with uh, Nomadic, uh, he's actually trying to help us, you know, hook up with the people we need to be talking to. Oh, yeah, Miss Culpepper. She is pretty awesome. Miss Culpepper is pretty awesome. Zero, how are the streaks looking tonight? <laughs> I see them, but I'm not worried about them. Yeah. And what is that other guy that... He works... Uh, his name is Frank. Uncle Frank. I forget what, what his name is. He's a man that's been around Austin Media forever. And I can't remember his name. Frank, I think his name is. Frank something no. Frank. Battery from <laughs> yeah, now I got you looking at him. Well, I'm not going to mention them again tonight because there's really not a whole lot I can do. <laughs> We're not going to have, an, I'm not going to throw another fit like I did a couple of weekends ago. Fred Cantu, that's right, Fred Cantu. You know, I see him all the time. We go out to these scenes, you know, these incidents, like when the SWAT call-outs are happening, so on and so forth. And I see him all the time, and he recognized me, and he, he acknowledged me, but he won't talk to me. He's very... See, he is very territorial, I'm telling you. What do you mean by... Is he... Is he uh, my nephew is in town. Okay, my nephew's in town. He's a sheriff. Are they hiring in Austin right now? I would guarantee you they're hiring in Austin right now. I, I know they're hiring in Austin right now for sure. He is extremely biased, but he pulls off the Uncle Fred bit good enough. Most people don't see it. Yeah. All right, buddy. Uh, let me. Uh, hang on. Let me uh, FaceTime you real quick. Guys, give me a second. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I got to FaceTime my boy real quick. Yeah, he has abandoned all objectivity. Hey. Hang on, let me mute this. All right, guys, sorry about that. All right, Joe, uh, your mom's going to FaceTime me when y'all are just about to go to bed. Twenty-nine hundred six twenty south, Paul, Texas, Paul, George, Frank. 
Thanks for watching, though, son. I appreciate it. You're a good kid. Well, let's, uh, he says he's just checking it out. He would be a good share for you. Yeah, you know what? I would, I wouldn't recommend he go. Hang on. I wouldn't recommend that he goes to Austin Police, but Travis County Sheriff is a is a pretty good department for sure. The uh, Austin Police is just. I, I don't know how anybody, any of the officers handle it. He should be highly aware of the county DA and his Marxist commie tendencies. Yep, that's for sure. Yep, the DA is the DA is a uh, 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 he loves putting cops in jail or trying to put them in jail. He's very good at ruining careers. Even if he, even if he's not putting people in jail, he's very good at ruining their careers. And that really makes me mad. I'm gonna look at the at uh, your uh, Brianna Hollis thing. I, I muted her. I didn't block her, but I muted her. Garza is an intentional destruction of oh yeah for sure I I cannot I, it blows my mind that voters had a had a a decent alternative to vote for uh Jason, they had a very good candidate uh, to vote, and they still voted for Garza. I mean, and you look at the voter turnout. The voter turnout was so low, you know. I mean, it it wasn't like you know he blew Jason out of the water, but it, it just it just blows my mind. I, I don't I don't understand it. I'll never understand it. I'll never understand why this city keeps voting for that trash. Makes no sense. Possibly a Brody Green white male drives a black pickup. Well, I got something going on right there behind us. Yeah, it is, KM. It is insanity. Simply insane is what it is. You know, and, and sadly, what's going to end up happening before voters finally change what they're voting for, they are going to have to feel the pain of what they are voting for now. They're voting for the destruction, and until they feel, until it hits them personally, they're not going to change. Corbeta seems like a solid... Yeah. Again, no chance. Yeah, no chance. But you know what? You got to give him props for sticking his neck out like that. You know, he he's sticking his neck way out there. There could be zero. There could be. I, I think uh, it, it's my opinion we should be back to uh, paper ballots and hand counting. I think that's the only way: paper ballots and hand counting. Yeah, 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 Travis. And negative. Paper ballots and hand counting. But you know what? They're never going to go for it. You know, uh, whether you like it or not, a lot of the left controls a lot of what happens. And uh, they know. They know what would happen if they went to hand counting. And they're not going to do it. It's just like the mail-in voting. The only way Biden won in 2020 was because of mail-in voting. Mail-in voting and uh, ballot harvesting. Now, I've been hearing that the Republicans have a ballot harvesting operation in place now, too. So let's hope they do. Yep. I, who, with, uh, Dana who, Zero? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know who you're referring to. Green is going to be a black Toyota Highlander. Any 
Alright, we gotta go down. Oh, I, okay. I know who you're talking about now. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, and you, and you know what? You're you're probably 100% correct on that. Y'all are gonna go out. I'll get it. Well, whatever's happening, something's got to change. You know, the problem is. Let's say our elections are 100% legit. Okay. Um, the problem is, is when the public, when citizens lose faith that the elections are legit, I mean, that, that's heading down a very dark and dangerous path. When people feel like that, that they're being, I mean, it, think about it. If, if the majority of people, and a lot of people, if you look at the polls, a lot of people in this country believe that elections are not legitimate. So, if the elections aren't legitimate... We don't really have a country anymore. That's what's scary about it. That's headed down civil war territory. So, coming in November, let's say Trump wins. The Democrats are never going to accept it. But they've kind of worked their way into a hole because what happened in 2020, which basically... You know, they, it made it to where they made it to where you couldn't talk about, you know, the election uh, being rigged. You couldn't talk about it. They would ban you. So now when Trump wins in November, they're not going to be able to talk about it. Open records investigations might have DA in jail not long from now or close to it. Reading lights. Man, I'm telling you. Um, I'll try to get a description. There's some stuff. There's some stuff happening. I think, and I hope, I hope something, something has to give, because uh, you know it's like that story that that uh, out of the Daily Mail that Marianne Martinez wrote. Uh, he's asking for police protection, and they won't give it to him. But now we, you and I, are paying for his his private security. What's scary is no one seems to remember Gore challenging election, all Republican focused. Yeah, you remember the hang? Uh, you're talking about the hanging chad thing, right? Y'all remember the hanging chads? Oh my gosh, the hanging chads. I remember the hanging chads. KM, I remember it. Nope, I, that, that's great. I, I posted, actually, uh, I. Uh, posted a uh, tweet that Adam Lowy posted about the five most historic events his his five most historical events in his lifetime and then I posted my five most historical and the hanging chads was one of them what is it zero heart inner civic and wells branch Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, shoot, man. I thought you were talking about like a heart attack or something. Oh, what am I thinking? I'm sorry. No, Trump definitely wasn't the first to challenge. That's 100% true. But they made it seem like, uh, you know, they're trying to put him in jail for it. If I remember right, and I was I was young when that all happened, but if I remember right, didn't it go to the federal court of the Supreme Court? Didn't it make it to some court? Yeah, Melissa, it's it's right. You're right. You're right. There, you know, it's like, did y'all hear the story where there was thousands, thousands of dead people that tried to register to vote here in Texas? I mean, it was like. I forget. It was like sixty something thousand dead people tried to vo uh, tried to register to vote here in Texas in one single week. One week.
Man, I haven't thought about the hanging Chad thing in forever. Guys, I gotta run in here and use the toilet real quick. If y'all can watch the car for me and not let anybody steal it. If they do steal it, then watch the stream, call my cell phone and tell me where they're at so I can go get the car. <laughs> I'll be right back.
What do we got going on, guys? Let's see. I was getting gas at that shell gas station while it was held up by teenagers. That's crazy, Dennis. During COVID. KM says they'll defend with their machete. All right, let's see what we got going on. I'll tell you what, we're going to drive into down, downtown. Let's go check out downtown and see what's up. I'm going to drive into downtown. Man, I really got to put some... Uh, I don't know why my door started squeaking like that lately. But it's driving me nuts. Got to get some WD-40 on it. You're going to defend with your machete. I tell you what, there's a lot of machete stuff happening in this city right now, that's for sure. So I don't think you're going to be the only one defending with your machete. <laughs> Yep, this intersection is bad, and you got to see it tonight. It's full of people up under the bridge. You know, I was uh, talking earlier about we're going to start doing uh, Friday and Saturday nights. I'm going to have guests on that, uh, you know, different guests, notable people, people that you're going to want to hear from. We're going to have them on. Uh, to interview, but we're also going to be bringing on just any, you know, like you guys, if you guys want to come on and come out here with me and talk on the show, then send me a message and we'll set it up. Can you go to H Mart for me? I need a couple of things. I'll tell you what, where's H Mart? <laughs> Pick you up a 12 pack and a pack of smokes. Haunted Toyota. You know, this is the first message I've gotten off Twitch. Haunted Toyota. Very first message I've gotten on Twitch. Oh, yeah, H Mart. No, that's up north. That's kind of up by where I live in a way. So, yeah, if, if anybody wants to come out and join the show, let me know. Come out. We can talk. Do some chat like we're doing now. It's going to be a lot of fun. Go and see the, the crackheads in the city. Pull over to the shoulder. Need some kamichi, huh? You know, I've never had kamichi. I'll tell you what, if I was up north, I would. I really would, actually. But I'm not up north and won't be for another few hours. But I'm telling you, I probably would. Gotta get that Kamichi. So tell me, so this thing, uh, my, my setup, it's supposed to, so if somebody sends a chat on X, there's a bot that is supposed to send the chat over to, uh, it's supposed to send the chat to all platforms. So like, let's say, 
Zero, you just sent a, a chat. It's supposed to put it on Twitch and YouTube and every place else. But I don't think it's actually working. Kamichi, it's uh, I think it's a, a something made with cabbage. I've never eaten it before. I've heard it's really good though. Kamichi. It's a uh, Kamichi Korean. Yeah, okay, Korean spicy fermented cabbage and radish. Oh, the, yeah. Oh, that sounds good. The fermented cabbage. It's kind of like sauerkraut in a way. Yeah, zero. It's Kamichi. K I M C H I. I'm sorry, y'all can't all see the each other's chats. Haunted Toyota is sending chats from Twitch, and you're sending chats from X. Kamichi. Yep. Oh, can you really? Oh, so it is working. All right, Haunted Toyota. That's pretty cool. I didn't know it was working. I guess that bot's really working. That's pretty cool. KM loves Kamichi. <laughs> I love sauerkraut, and if it's anything like sauerkraut, well, sauerkraut's fermented cabbage, too, so if it's anything like sauerkraut, I would love it, and I love spicy food, so... There you go. On a Toyota, I'm going to get some kamichi and try it. What do you eat it on? Or do you just eat it by itself? Yeah, Zero's on X. He's chatting from X. But on X, can you see uh, Haunted Toyota's chats from... Uh, can you see Haunted Toyota's chats from Twitch? Kim E T. Sounds like a name the way you spelt it. <laughs> We're going to take a jaunt up uh, South Congress into downtown and see what's what. Oh, so, okay, so it's a side, okay, all right, I get it. It's a side dish, got it. Okay, so the Twitch chats aren't coming on to X, but the X chats are going on to Twitch. So that's pretty cool. I'll have to look at the bot and make sure that it's set up right. It's supposed to work that way where all, you know, everybody can see all chats. That way, you know, everybody can keep up with the conversation. Dude, bro, dude. Dude, bro, bro, dude. Haunted Toyota, it's not, uh, it's, uh, X is, uh, the old Twitter. You know, it was Twitter, but now it's X. That's where we get, I mean, shoot, that's where 90% of my views come from is on X. I put a lot of effort in on X. I've been building my audience there for going on two years now. I just literally started on Twitch a few weeks ago. Probably need to put a little bit more work into Twitch. You should come over to X. A lot of good combos there, but like I said, I'm, I'm going to start building on Twitch now. So we're live on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and X or Twitter. Five platforms. And I was live on TikTok, but those assholes banned me. They didn't ban my account. They banned me from going live because I said a bad word on a stream. And over on, on TikTok, my last video that I uploaded, it got 1.6 million views. Yeah, the bot problem is still bad, sadly. The bot problem is still pretty bad. I can make a post and literally within seconds there's a, there's somebody posting porn under it. You know, the link in the bio porn. Yeah, Twitch is pretty bad with the banning too, but I've learned to watch my mouth and not say bad things. And what I did, I'll tell you what I did on, on TikTok. 
the, the got now. me banned. We were talking about uh, the uh, the German guy that went to war back in, you know, the late 30s, early 40s. Y'all know who I'm talking about. The guy with the little paintbrush mustache. We were talking about we were talking about him about uh, about how he was a drug user. That I mean, we weren't talking good about. It. We were talk literally talking about how the man was a dope fiend. And just because I said his name, they got me for hate speech. And I, you know, I talk, you know, I sent in a message. I'm like, hey, what the heck? You know, that wasn't hate speech. And they said, well, just submit an appeal, and you know, we'll deal with it. So I put an appeal in, and literally that appeal was denied within 30 seconds. Yeah, I'm on Congress right now. I'm heading. Uh, we just passed that brand new HEB on Congress. We're, we're going into the, I guess you call it the entertainment district on SoCo. Yeah, KM, you know who I'm talking about, the H guy. I can't say his name because I think Twitch would ban me for it too, for saying that name. X is literally the only platform that I'm not worried about being banned for talking about things. Facebook got me. They can. They. They can. Uh, I, I was monetized on Facebook, and then they demonetized me and considered me a dangerous organization. And then Twitch. I mean, uh, YouTube did the same thing because of my videos on the homelessness here in Austin. Yeah, I'm not really worried about being banned on X. I don't really talk about anything that's too controversial. Something's happening in downtown, some kind of protest. We're about to go check it out. Let's see. I think the ban appeal process is all automated. I think it is too. I'm almost certain it's automated. I mean, it was denied within like 30 seconds. It had to have been. Uh, KM says X is my go to for whatever reason. My sister gets mad when I mean tweet. So, mean tweeting. Let me tell you about mean tweeting. How this all started with me doing this, I had an account called Make Austin Safe Again. And it was a, you know, a play on uh, the MAGA stuff. It was make Austin safe again. Hey, the meter, re uh, the the traffic enforcement's out. Um, make Austin safe again was the account, and I made that account just to bullshit and shit post to uh, Mayor Adler. And uh, the man never banned me, but that was my goal: was to try to get the man banned or try to get him to to uh, uh, block me. Anyway, that's how this all started, and then I started getting traction and getting bigger and getting bigger, and uh, I had some people that I was working with that told me that I need to uh, change the name, so Cleo helped me come up with Dash. I ended up on one of those lists with all the IW accounts. Trump. Yeah, the IW stuff. Back in the day when Twitter was ran by the, the you know those people Twitter was bad and I, I had the same problem because I was appearing on you know I was on uh, uh, Infowars quite often and I was you know I was all the time retweeting and putting videos out of them and but when uh, Musk took over it was like the shadow ban was list uh, was lifted dude bro dude this is yeah this is a nice part of town can y'all can y'all see the skyline in front of us from my uh from the obs software i use it looks like my windshield is kind of giving trouble but it is what it is i'll stop up here in a little bit and, and re-clean it real quick trump another similar ilk when all that censorship was going on yeah uh that led to my two to three year banning from twitter Man, they would ban you for damn near anything back in the day. They would ban, ban you.
If you weren't shadow, you know, it, shadow banned if you were lucky. Band banned if you're not. Yeah, it's a little. I've, I've got. I haven't cleaned my windshield since I've been out. I'm gonna stop and clean it real quick up here. Let's see. The liquor store is busy tonight. Look at all those people over there. I oh, wonder what they're doing. A lot of people at the liquor store. Oh, no, they're not at the, Oh, they're at the taco shop. I bet that taco place is good if there's that many people standing there waiting for food. Johnny K2000 says, Austin Justice Coalition Policy Director Chris Harris is madder than usual. This guy is really upset that he lost his seat as Adler's sidekick. Oh, man, Chris Harris is... Uh, Chris Harris is something else, man. That guy is something else. Yeah, so I just ordered the newest GoPro. Um, I'm about to change this camera. To, I'm going to go to a GoPro. I've got it ordered. I'm just waiting on it to come in. But I've got... Hey, man, what are you doing? So I've got um, I've got three GoPros coming in. So uh, we're gonna have when we have guests in the car, we're gonna have a view, of, you know, of the guest and a view of me. And then we're gonna have a guy. We're, I'm, I'm hiring a guy to uh, ride with us in the in the back seat and actually run the show. They're gonna be switching the cameras, monitoring audio and all of that stuff. So we're about to do it. We're about to have a huge upgrade in, in here. I'm I'm really excited about it too. Really excited about it. <clears throat> Grifter Kingpin. Man, I can't tell you how many times I've gotten DMs people calling me a grifter. I didn't even know what that name meant. I had to go look it up. The nonprofits in this city are the biggest grifters of all. The homeless and industrial complex. Boy, look at the skyline. It's beautiful tonight. Golly, this city has changed so much in the last 10 years. It blows my mind. Jeez, Louise. Yeah, no, I don't think it's a grift, really. Why would you, why, what do you mean? Why, why would this be a grift? I guess I really don't even know what grift means still, apparently. Well, to be honest, if this is a grift, then, uh, I mean, we're helping a lot of people in this city. We're helping a lot of people get out of homelessness. So if it's a grift, then I'll take it because we're changing lives. And that's what's important to me. This live streaming is basically, I mean, this is just a small part of what we're doing. KM, yeah, I'm telling you, move. It, downtown is, to be honest, downtown is fairly safe. I mean, it's not bad. Just got to be careful. Oh no, Zyra, I wasn't, I wasn't, wasn't referring to what you were saying. Um, Mr. Toyota on Twitch said that, uh, to be fair, this was a grift. Let's see. We got the fire department here in downtown. 
I wonder if my buddy, uh, a black SUV, which would be like a Jeep Cherokee up front, and then they want to pick up. Mr. Stringer is down here working the pedicabs tonight. San Antonio is not as bad. I mean, San Francisco is not as bad as what people say. I've never been there. All I see is the videos. And, you know, kind of like Austin, if you just watched all of my videos only, you would think Austin is terrible. But in reality, Austin's really not as bad as, you know. It's bad, but it's not that bad. I, I think what I'm trying to say about Austin is what you're trying to say about San Francisco. Like, all of my videos is like doom and gloom videos. And so that's why we're trying to post more. I would never post uh, videos of us, like, with the guy Drifter, you know, giving him uh, giving him that, uh, donating a, a lawnmower to him so he can, you know, work to make money. I would never post any of that. But I think it's important that we start doing that, showing the positives instead of all doom and gloom. Ellison Brothers lived there. We thought it was the coolest place to live ever. <laughs> Remember when the rail yard was really only a park? Yeah, the Ellison Brothers. James, I appreciate that. But, it, you know, what I mean by doom and gloom is we didn't show, I didn't ever show, I never showed any positives of what we were doing and positives about the city. It was all about how bad the homeless camps were, how bad the, the crime is, how bad this is. And we wanted to, like, we, we I sat down and was thinking about it and just made the decision that it would probably be a good idea to show that, you know, we are trying to help and we are trying to do good. Yep. Z Zero, you're absolutely right. Austin is the worst place ever. Don't move here. No, Austin is not bad. Austin is... Look, I love this city. It's got its problems, but it's got its fair share. It's got probably got more problems than it should have, but it's still a pretty awesome city. We're crossing 6th Street right now, and they already have it shut down down there. We're going to head that way. Hey, Chris, I don't have any Powerless promo single. Yeah, let me roll my windows down so we can hear what's happening. I mean, there's a lot of people out here, a lot of people out having fun. I love watching people. I, I don't know if I'm the only people watcher in, uh, that's on here tonight, but I love watching people and you know, seeing families out having a good time. And it's good stuff. There you go, dude, bro, bro, dude. That's not a bad idea. We need to find a way to, to, to make that happen. <laughs> because the population in this town has absolutely exploded in the last 10 years. I do too, Haunted Toyota. The ones that I like are the ones in Japan. The Japan videos, the city tours are pretty awesome. They played our stage at the Con Street Festival when I worked at 98.9. 98.9 rock 98.9 Z rock All right. A lot of people out here, man. Holy smokes at the people. Wonder what they're doing. They're all in line for something. What's happening down here in downtown tonight? Is there something at the Paramount or something? The Austin population is growing fast because it's one of the only large American cities building enough housing. Yeah, you're right. There's a lot of housing coming in here right now for sure. Dude, bro, this is our water situation is the biggest concern for me. Yeah, um... I, I was listening to something. You know, I, I think our water comes from Lake Travis, right? I was I was uh, reading something about that, that we could literally run out of water. Our population is growing faster than, than we can put, you know, that we can provide water for people. Larry, the cable guy, autograph shit. 
Robert Downey. Larry the Cable Guy, man. That. Let me tell you something about Larry the Cable Guy. When I heard him actually talk, and he doesn't have that Southern Hick accent, it blew my mind. I felt betrayed. I really did. I, I thought he was really that way, but it's all an act. Blows my mind. Who knew Larry the Cable Guy wasn't a redneck? Oh man, there's the. Uh, oh man. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All was good. Food truck, food. And I'm telling you right now, the food down here in these food trucks are so damned expensive. My favorite comedian? I like, so I've got a couple. I know y'all are probably not gonna like this, but I do like Jerry Seinfeld. Um, Cat Williams is really, really good. I love Cat Williams. And uh, I don't know if, uh, if you guys know who this is or not, but Rodney Carrington. Rodney Carrington is, uh, he does comedy, stand up, plus he does singing. It's like he's a, he makes up these funny ass songs. All right, I'm gonna clean the windshield real quickly. Uh oh. Hey, hang on, guys, I'll be right back. Location. I'm going to be Michael Collins Spelling, 11586 White Male. Dean wheeling himself into the street. Claire, 920. Go ahead. return to Matthew Tay, Kern, and Claire out of Texas. 28 Sam Norton X-ray 2187 comes back to a white 17 Toyota insurance confirmed and current. Four, four, four. Got it. Can you tell me the arrest and come on individual? Uh, All right, guys, sorry, I'm back. I had to, was talking to my little boy. He's going to bed, wanted to tell me good night. Let me clean my windows. I'll be right back. Shit, man. There's some people back over here behind me that are about to get in a fight. Hang on, I gotta move this real quick so I can clean the inside. Charlie 3, 28. 
All right. Hopefully that looks a little bit better, guys. Okay. Hopefully that looks a little better. Let's see where we're going. Let's see what's going on with the fire. This is where we saw the guy taking a dump the other day. A male wearing no shirt and pants. All right, let's see here. Five Baker 11, returning negative 99 to a 1998 Toyota four door, black in color, expired December of 23, registered owner out of Round Rock. Haunted Toyota says Nick Mullen is for sure one of the best comedians around right now. I don't think I've ever heard of Nick Mullen, but I will definitely look him up because I love comedians. Did you see, uh, did, does anybody watch Rogan? If you do, did y'all see Cat Williams' appearance on Rogan? Well, I'll tell you what, whatever just happened back behind us, uh, the cops have towed they're towing a lot of cars off of 6th Street right now. That's one of them right in front of us. That car, I saw him uh, hooking up back there on 6th a while ago. I don't know if you're not, I guess you're not allowed to leave your car on 6th Street, uh, you know, after a certain time. If you do, they'll tow it. Can you bring me to that back car, Fight in progress. All right, let's get rolling. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Paul Beck. Well, let me tell you. So, check this out. This is this is a thing with the guy on the trail. All right. So, when I got out there, I was the only media person out there at the time. I beat everybody out there by like an hour. Within that time that I was there, from the time they found the body till the time I was there, they found the body about an hour before I got there. They had already released that it was a cardiac arrest. Okay, that's that's the start. The guy was still laying in the bushes dead. I was able to obtain a video of the body. Somebody that took a video of the body before uh, police and fire got there. And uh, I got that video. You got to see the condition that that body was in. For one, no pants. Two, he had, you could look at him in the video and tell that he had been dead for quite some time. And three, he was literally, his feet was ding near touching the water. So when the media here is saying that he wasn't pulled from the water, he wasn't, the, maybe he wasn't directly pulled from the water, but the man was almost in the lake. And it's just, it, nothing about this makes sense. If I could post the pictures uh, or screen grabs of the body, I would. I'm thinking about how to do it. But, yeah, there's something definitely off about that. That, and they're not talking at all. 
You can't get any information about what happened out there. So, I don't know. We're looking into it. I'm hoping we can find something out. Um, I shared a lot of information with uh, some of the water death researchers that are actually looking into these deaths. Kevin Gannon, uh, the guy that uh, actually came up with the smiley face killer theory, and William Ramsey. We were talking today about it. And uh, so they're, they're looking into it. They have the video that I have. And um, there is a uh, an account on Twitter called... Uh, Hang on, let me tell you who it is. Uh, it's at Smiley Face Cult. At Smiley Face Cult. Go follow them. Uh, they are, they have a lot of information about all of these deaths, Everybody and they're posting a lot of it pretty much daily right one. now. <clears throat> We're going to go drive down Rainy Street right now. Whatever's happening with these deaths, it's it's not good. It's not good at all. The complainant is going to be at 4508 Imperial Drive. Alright, we're going to go drive down Rainy Street. I used to stop at that Chevron and buy, they've got this uh, brand of trail mix that I can't find anywhere else. Uh, but they stopped carrying it. Can you clarify the apartment number? Delicious trail mix. See, this is the thing. Look how dark it is out here. This is where all the men have went missing. And I want you to look how dark it is out here. This is crazy how dark it is in this area. I mean, think about it. Look how dark it is. You know, going down into the water, look at this. You know, you could literally drive right down into the water and look how dark it is. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. How that they have not put any better lighting out here yet. All of the men that have died and went missing have have this is where they went missing from and it is pitch black out here. Yeah, buddy, it's pitch black. This is where all the the drowning victims have went missing from the street. Well, the street that we're about to drive down, but this is the lake. This is where they went into the water, supposedly. Or if you believe what the city is saying, this is where they accidentally fell off into the water. Not only did they accidentally fall off in the water, but they accidentally didn't know how to swim either. Hey, there's a gun hot shot call at the Church of Scientology. There's literally a gun hot shot call at the Church of Scientology. All right, guys, this is Rainy Street. This is, yep, this is, this is, uh, we just turned on to rainy. Last weekend, this street was dead, so let's see how it is this week. There's not a whole lot happening down here, I can tell you that much. Come on, LP, when 
Sam Boy Paul. It looks like nine nine five three. Yeah. I don't know where they're at now. I missed the address. I just heard that it was a church of Scientology. We're gonna watch this car try to let's watch this car try to parallel park. Y'all think they'll be able to get it done? They're not getting there yet. Oh. I'll be out at uh, 22, 20 second on block, block. Probably. Oh, they're going to hit. That's the same Victor William 8510. Hang on, Joe. I'll tell you what a gun hotshot call is in just a second. I got to try to get out of here. Hey, they actually made it. Look at that. All right. I cannot believe they act, oh, they're very crooked. That girl is nervous and shaking. Y'all look at Rainy Street. Rainy Street is completely dead tonight. There is nothing happening out here. This blows my mind how dead it is. A gun hotshot call is a... Uh, so a hot shot call is the highest priority call that there is and a gun hot shot call means that the call it's like a disturbance and there's a gun involved so somebody has a weapon hashtag guilty <laughs> yeah it may be a little bit too early but usually about this time there's a, there's at least something happening down here and I don't see one police officer out here. There's usually cops. Now this area, there's quite a few people down here, but not as many as there normally are. Hey, there's a magician over there doing magic. This is me, a white and gray shirt and that's a live band and they sound really really good good lord people get out of the street Another live band. Yeah, if you were from out of town, for sure. Did, could y'all hear the music really well? Those were all live bands playing, too. There's three live bands playing on the same block. Three Baker 42 or five Baker 30. We have EMS staging. Are they clear to enter? I wish I knew where that call was from. Yeah, yeah that, that one band. Ten four, thank you. There was one band that sounded really, really good. The drums and the bass were really tight. It sounded really, really good. So. I don't know if y'all just heard that, but at the Metro Rail, at Blue one of the stops, Metro somebody just had a gun pulled on them at one of the train stops. Yeah, you're right, Zero. I think so, too. Reminded me of old Sixth back in the day, but only two lanes. Yep. There goes a private security guy. I wonder if Jose Garza is on uh, Rainy Street There's tonight. More. I haven't received a response from any Spanish speaking unit yet. 763 Denver is on scene. Thank you. 
forward to going forward. All right. Man, traffic's bad everywhere right now. Old 6th Street, you know, 6th Street's changed so much. When I very first moved here, 6th Street, 6th Street was fun. You wouldn't catch me dead on 6th Street now. I mean, you wouldn't catch me dead track going down there to party and have a good time. Of course, I don't party and have a good time now anymore anyway, so. I'm a dab. I got dad duties. Just reporting three. It appears to be a swatting incident, but no signs of anyone uh, with a 32. Who? Did y'all just hear that? They just had a swatting here in Austin. They literally are en route to a swatting right now. Or, or they're at a swatting. Pizza Press. Simon, my favorite suburb. Uh, Cedar Park and Leander. Absolutely. Cedar Park and Leander. That, definitely my two favorites. Uh, we That's why we, we ended up moving out there. When we moved in November, that's where we went. Round Rock is okay, but Round Rock is changing too. Crime is really bad in Round Rock right now. But you can go out towards Bastrop. That's, that's a really nice place out there. Or the my other favorite place that I would love to move to, but I really can't because my job is, you know, this here in Austin. I would love to be out in Junction. I don't know what it is about Junction. It's quite a ways away from here, but I love that little town. My uncle lives in Seguin, which is down by San Antonio. Uh oh, hang on. Box alarm. Twenty-two hundred Guadalupe Street. Twenty-two hundred Guadalupe. All right, guys, we are almost there. We're uh, 10 minutes out from the uh, new stru uh, next structure fire. No, this one's zero. This one's on, yeah, it's 2200, but it's 2200 Guadalupe. We will be there in just a few minutes. They see flames. Oh shit! This. We're going. We're going to the Church of Scientology. Remember they had a call, a gun hotshot call there just a bit ago. Now we're going to a fire. They actually see flames. So the Church of Scientology is on fire. Did y'all 
Did y'all hear that? The building is evacuating except for the Scientologist. Jesus Christ. Yo, we have 450 people watching right now. If this is the church, if... So if this is... On the drag, we're going to have trouble. So, the caller said that they see fire in the basement in the ventilation system. They have smoke on the inside of the building, but the security guard is telling them that there's nothing happening. Interesting, huh? Just an average American. Hey, anytime you want to come, let me know. Just an average American. Whenever you're ready to go, let's do it. I'm ready. Just north of Union Target, I think. Yeah, we may not. I don't know what this car is doing in front of us. I wished we could actually like pick up some speed. Someone hot boxing. Yeah, it's it's funny because they, hang on. They said that everybody's evacuating but the Scientologist. Gosh, we got we got 448 people watching right now. Uh, Y'all don't know how much that means to me. It means it means a lot, guys. We have 440 now on X. We have one on Twitch, seven on YouTube, and of course none on. Uh, Facebook. All right. So we are just a few minutes out from the Church of Scientology. I'm going to go see what's up there. Again, uh, the 911 caller stated that they... Okay. So somebody made a false 911 call. Okay. Well, that's it. Um, what? Uh, so somebody made a fake 911 call at the Church of Scientology. Something's happening there. Uh, if, if you'll remember, just a little while ago, there was a gun hotshot call at the Church of Scientology. 
let's see, just an average American, I definitely will actually thinking about sending you original media for me going undercover as a journalist and right, hey, you know what, I definitely love to uh, publish them. Zero, yeah, I'm on uh, Lamar at, uh, what is this? I'm at Lamar and Fifth right now. Double dipping YouTube is in a... Oh, no, don't, don't believe me. Double dip all you want. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. Not going to complain at all. Uh, Fwatting. Yep. <laughs> That's funny. They, whoever called said that they saw flames. The, the uh, fire department gets there. At first, they reported light smoke. And now they're saying that there's absolutely nothing happening. So who knows what's going on? I just, I just find it odd that uh, there was a gun hotshot call there and somebody called in a fake fire report all within the last hour. Yep. American guy, just send me a message and we'll set it up, buddy. <laughs> Where are my cough drops? Mainer thirty two ten nine at wind. The last two weeks, I have been doing so much media and show appearances, talking on these streams that I'm, and I've been sick, and now I'm losing my voice for real. Uh, that's a charger. That's Any other The new want to learn yeah, you about Scientology in Austin ads on YouTube. Are you serious? There was ads, Scientology ads. On <laughs> That's funny. That's funny, actually. Paul, yes, Tim Dillon is hilarious. I love Tim Dillon. He is very, very funny. The only real famous person that I've ever met here in Austin was I met Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage coming out of a hotel in downtown. He had the craziest hair. It looks it was like he just woke up and you know with the bed head and walked out. His hair was everywhere. He was a uh, I don't know. Very cool looking character. Tim Dillon is fun. Hey Zero. Uh, I gotta tell you, I'm on a delay. <laughs> so, you say you turn right at the light. That light was like 20 seconds ago. Yeah. Yeah. KM, where is she, huh? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go up and check out North Austin for a bit. Sounds like there's more happening up north than there is down south. Oop. A lot of water on the street. So I, uh, I got off of drinking sodas. I don't drink any sodas anymore and I'm off of sugar and what i've found that i that i really enjoy drinking two things liquid death uh those uh, like the carbonated water and then the heb organics it's the prickly pear sparkling water 
Until you get up north. Yeah. Let's see if the aviation police, they're talking on the radio right now. Let's see if the helicopter's up. Homicide 2? Homicide 2. Okay. So there's actual, there's two homicide detectives out working. 3 Charles 4. Paul David, Charles Adam Boy, 9, David Tom, 611657. There's two homicide detectives out working tonight, Homicide 2 and Homicide 5. Cover 60, I'll get a 27 out of Arizona, that number one Looks like this was a fake call. No fire at the Church of Scientology. Let's see, you, my friends are at Peter Pan Golf right now. If you want to go hang out with them. I love Peter Pan Golf. It's behind me. I almost passed it just a minute ago. Does the car actually have a competitive interest too? So to those that just joined, we were on our way to the Church of Scientology, but they ended up, uh, it ended up being a fake call. Zero Foxtrot says it was a flotting. <laughs> Flotting. Sent samples to your messages. All right, just the average. Uh, uh, I will uh, as soon as I get a chance to stop. I will look at those. I appreciate you sending them to me. Yep, I see them in my inbox. I'll, I'll check them out as soon as I get a chance to stop. Or... Right, I don't want to listen to Travis County anymore. Also, so also someone said Tim Dillon is funny, and I would like to review that. You don't like Tim Dillon? I liked it. Tim Dillon's funny. I think he's funny. He's not. He's not one of my favorites. I mean, I, I wouldn't even watch him if he was on. But I, I mean, he's got some funny stuff. Thanks, average American. I appreciate you sending that to me. I will look at it as soon as I can. Like I said, as soon as I stop, I, I'm, I'm excited to see that. I haven't really seen too much video of people that were actually at the riot, so I'm very interested to see this. If you want, we can actually uh, we can actually work on a video. If you want to collaborate, we'll make a video about your time and, and publish it if you want. About your time doing the riots. Anyone who gets... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on it. On it, Toyota. You're actually funny, too. Uh, what is a fake call? So, about an hour ago, there was a call at the Church of Scientology. It was a. They, it came out as a gun hotshot call that someone had a gun pulled on them. The cops got there, and it ended up being nothing. They couldn't find anything. 
And then an hour later, they got a call from the 911 caller said that they actually saw flames in the ventilation system in the basement at the building, the Church of Scientology building. So when the fire department got there, they went in and they couldn't find anything. No smoke, nothing. So whoever called in to 911 uh, was lying. Triangle Estates. I'm at uh, Lamar and North Loop right now. So yeah, fake fake call. It, it was uh, not. I mean, it was uh, somebody lied. Nine one one caller lied. That's Engine Three that's right next to us right now, and they are uh, they were at the Church of Scientology fire. Engine three and engine two were the main yeah, ones. Man, we got. Let's see how many people we got on the stream right now. Man, we got 581 people on the stream. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Pull up and interview them. Like, hey, guys, y'all got a minute? <laughs> you think they would? KM, you're right. It is wasting resources. Bellicose, thank you. I appreciate it. But it's going to get better. I was talking about this earlier. I have ordered uh, three of the latest, the newest uh, GoPros. I'm waiting on them to get it so you can stream from those GoPros. And like I said, we're gonna have uh, uh, we're gonna have an actual like a rolling podcast, uh, multiple camera views, and you know we're gonna have guests. Uh, we'll have some prominent guests that you'll want to listen to, and you know just everyday people to come out. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, I can't tell you no if you don't ask, right? I'm the only guy in this Twitch chat. Hello, five eighty one. Yeah, no, the the people are uh, the the people are on X. That's the where the views are. That's where the most. Of, I would say probably ninety nine percent of all of my viewers is off of X. Literally, like almost all of them are off of X. I'll take it. Give me a minute on the Twitch. Uh, just, just wait. We're, we're, I'm gonna build the Twitch up. We'll get there. It just takes a bit. <laughs> you know, when we were down on the border uh, in Eagle Pass, uh, when we were covering the uh, border convoy that was down there, uh, we were literally out in the middle of nowhere on the border. This rock road. Uh, Peter and I, Peter has arrested Austin here on on Twitter, or X. Uh, we were on this back road that, that literally ran right up the border, and there was nothing out there but rattlesnakes and Border Patrol agents. And we stopped to pee, and a Border Patrol agent uh, was right there, and we ended up talking to him, and I'm telling you, he would talk to us. He told us a lot of stuff about the border. It surprised me that he was talking that freely. But I guess when you're stuck out in the middle of nowhere like that, you don't really have anybody to talk to. But we did kind of mess up their little operation because the road we were on was like a sandy dirt road. And they look at that, they, they look for footprints going across the road. They take a, a rake and go over it every morning. That way they, you know, they'll know if there's fresh footprints. And we were out there walking around like crazy. So they're prob they, they probably, that day were out chasing migrants up into the, up into the bushes. Well, I say migrants, criminal aliens, whatever you want to call them. Criminal aliens. I have a criminal trespass for bushes, but I'm not seeing a CTM. I just lit up a cigar. I can't believe how good cigars are. 
Except the last time I did it on stream, I actually got really kind of sick. I was coughing. <laughs> I was coughing a lot. I think Zero yeah, was there. It and I have it. I yeah, KM. They they take a truck and they pull this. Uh, under that they bag. pull this uh, like it's like a chain link fence behind them, and it you know smooths out the sand. Two. So they'll know if there's you know new people walking across. And here we go trampling all over it. Yeah, I can't wait to get those uh, GoPros in. It's going to really, really up the quality of this stream. My only problem, and maybe one of you guys, yeah, we were peeing on that road too. Uh, the only problem I've gotten, maybe somebody can have an idea of how I can fix this, is this. OBS running multiple camera views, you need a pretty hefty computer. You know what I mean? It, it needs good processing power. And right now I'm using a laptop to stream with it doesn't have a ton of processing power so I need something I, I would love to be able to put a desktop in here but I know that's not possible uh, so I need a more powerful computer is what I need and I don't know how to do it the power requirements are insane to run my switcher the cameras the computers the microphones it, it's just I'm already running three inverters in this car right now and it puts my battery up at its limits there's a call for one of the bars down in on 6th Street people are in the alley behind it shooting up yeah, so here's what we were thinking. We were thinking about instead of using this car, so this car that I'm in right now, instead of using this, we were thinking about getting like a Sprinter van or something like that. That you know, like a or an old, you know, an, a, 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 a van that was made to be an ambulance that's made to use a lot of power. Why did I come this way? Oh, you got zucked on your Facebook. Hey, I got zucked on my Facebook too a few months ago. I feel you. They didn't just delete me though. They demonetized me and then limited my reach. I, I mean, I, you couldn't find me on there if you wanted to unless you knew my exact profile name. Like right now, let me tell you where the, where the views are coming from. Right now, I have two people on Twitch, seven people on uh, on uh, YouTube, 632 on uh, X or Twitter, and zero on Facebook. It was actually heartbreaking. Man, I'll tell you. Look, that that's one of my biggest fears is losing the the content that I'm creating. So when I go out and shoot these videos, I'm backing them up to two hard drives just for that just for that problem. I send them out to I uh, I pay for uh, Google One and uh, and then I keep them locally. What happened to the Church of Scientology? So it ended up being uh, Rashad. It ended up. Uh, it ended up being a uh, basically somebody called 911 said they they saw flames in the ventilation system in the basement of the Church of Scientology. Fire department got there and they couldn't find anything, no smoke, no fire, nothing. So they canceled the call. What's odd about it is there was a what's called a gun hot shot call there an hour ago, uh, where somebody called in and said somebody pulled a gun on them at the Church of Scientology. And cops got there and couldn't find anything. So that's basically uh, two, you know, fake calls in, in an hour's time. 
No, it, it, it was not. One, like I said, uh, once the fire department got there, it uh, it was out. I, I put a message below my tweet about that. Park 40 is around to a strike unattended vehicle, Metropolitan Park. It's blocking traffic in the middle lane, EMS is too late. Yeah, they're crazy. So when uh, when the call came out, the uh, dispatcher was telling the firemen that everybody in the building was evacuating except the Scientologists. They refused to leave the building, even if it was on fire. How crazy is that? I mean, the Scientologists were like, nah, we're not leaving. And it's on fire. It'll be okay. Pretty sure I'd already lost my profile. Well... I wish I knew of a way that you could get it back or at least get your content back. I mean, losing some of those lives, your live streams, that's pretty heartbreaking. I'm pretty anal about my content and, and making sure that I never lose it. I'll be 23 at Travis County Central Booking, ending mileage 94826. All right, we're going to go up here. There's something happening down on Runbird. We're going to go check it out and see what's what. Four males have jumped out of a four-door black sedan. Security is going to go locate the student and keep it with the front desk for you. See, I missed where the shots shipped. I missed where the shots fire call was at. I'm already 23. You clear me at once. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dang, dude. Did y'all just see that bicyclist almost run out in front of us? Holy smokes, that scared me. Jesus, that made my stomach hurt. That's all I need to do is run over somebody on a live stream. Holy shit. Let's go and confirm on the 99 and certainly 51 for it. Elevating, stopping a southbound, most southbound zone. 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 Yeah, thank you. 262-426, Mary. Philadelphia. Good boy. Okay. Fire event special cyclist. I'm telling you that I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but that guy, Dane, I mean, close within feet of running out here in front of us. Uh, no, I'm on Runbird. Shorts and the subject's where I'm from. Runbird and North Creek. See, uh, there's another cop going in that direction. Some, I knew something, something's happening up there, but I didn't hear exactly what the call was. Twenty two hundred plus of Valley. That's where the shots fires shots fired call. Yeah, okay. Shit, man, we were just in that area too, if I hadn't came north. Go 
for me. Which game would you like me to pay? I'm glad you're using the Citizen app. You get the back, I'll get the front. Very glad you're using the Citizen app. Uh, unless we get more info. Go ahead. Wood Gang, Wood Glen Cove, Kentucky, John Jones, Frank. Cove. Okay, I know where we're going. All right. I know there's shots. Okay, so the uh, Melissa, yeah, we're we're on our way to a, a shots fired right now. Uh, basically, right up. I, this is the call that I was looking for. Uh, there's shots fired call on Wood Glen Cove. Okay, four ten. Service call at Walmart. I saw folks ran off and say there's some items. The suspect left and he's you need to pick up. There's also a person with a gun on 9201 Cameron Road. William Cannon. You ran out of gas on my car. By H E B no, this is in an actual neighborhood. It's just It's in a, a regular little neighborhood. We're gonna be there in just a second. We'll be there in just a second. Leave the scene. It's going to be a white female wearing white shirt, blue jeans, white shoes, pushing a cart and has a pit bull with her. Currently in the lobby. Supervisor, click your eyes. See, we're going to turn on to Hansford. Crew still waiting to get the call fixed. So north. Uh, 32 is going to have a laser on it and point it directly at him. That's a cop way in front of us. Do you start EMS for this 36-year-old male complaining of chest to arm pain? 10 Does that look like heavy belt? The gray line. Yeah, I knew it would happen. Check the Calder's the cameras on the Calder's in front of the Yeah, camera. I'm going to, uh, first we're going to go to this shots fired call right up here. It was right pretty close to us. And this is the one that I heard them talking about. They've had a couple of calls on it. We're almost there. Then we're going to go to 9201 Cameron. 10 Yeah, I'm right there by 9201. We're we're close. This may the two calls may be connected. Could be connected, I guess. Roll them up. Yep, a lot of calls out here Did about you have a good guns. On where you're going to get gas? Uh, just 100 feet away at the gas station. I'll see you in a minute. All right, so this is. Do you have a law enforcement? Okay, so Wood Glen. Hey, 
That was a popo right there. Alright, well apparently there's nothing Mary happening Mary. here. Five seven oh five, agree to start the charge. Ninety two oh okay, so now we're gonna head to ninety two oh one Cameron. Thirty one I'm four. Twenty-three, uh, twenty-two, nineteen. We are ninety-two, oh one. Whatever that is. Yeah, there's Never. nothing, nothing happening here. We're, we are three minutes from ninety-two, oh one. Camera. These two calls may be connected. Uh, there's a shots fired call here in this neighborhood, and then literally. About a half a mile away, there is a man with a gun call. Where are we at? Sorry, I'm trying to do too many things at one time. I got a million things going on. In this. And I just got an alert from Citizen. Baker 40, that's confirmed out of bounds, Rob. Okay, Alright, now, now we got another armed individual. Okay. Now there's another... 202.8. And I'll let you know the final stop. It's going to be a parking garage nearby. All right. Dispatch Edward 3 Clear on the note in the check welfare service uh, off of Rutland. Are we clear to the GB though? Okay. We are about to pull up. I don't know what this place is though. Man, my screen's looking bad. Look at that. That's horrible looking. Twelve, I'm clear out of traffic in David 10, 16, 600 block of 71. It's an apartment complex. Oh, and then I have Lone Star route for the Challenger. Well, it's horrible looking, it's ain't it? It's on the line. It's a boot. You know, something that falls off in a year ago. I think that all of these. Come on, give us a green. Our safe subject had a knife in his pocket. No other information. All right, we are pulling up to the uh, man with the gun call. It's right. Well, here comes the cops. They're leaving. Shit, every time we... Every time. He said the. You know, something assaulted him with a dead weapon a year ago. He said all of these. It's occurred 30 minutes ago. We're not sure. 
his uh, Loyola address? Is that is that where he's at now then? And I guess the female is over here on Park Reynolds Door? I confirm that this call take care. Can we go with it? Sam Young, Sam 5397. Just turning around. Sorry about that. I thought I could drive through. You went digital. Baker 706701. 701. Do you want me to walk over or do you want to go over here and talk to them? I will come and grab them if you all want to relocate behind by there. Yeah, right. we pulled up right next to the cops on that call. Is it all right if you watch that vehicle or do I need to move it? You and digital. All right, run bird. So I just got another. But, I just uh, got an alert this West Wind Trail. that uh, there is a uh, another call, another armed individual call here at 35. Can you confirm on that? Clear, sending. Clear, sending. Three vehicle collision. We're going to stop and look at the map here. It's, we're going to stop here at the 7 Eleven and check the map and see what's happening. It's going to be a 2020 Hyundai Tucson white and color, Mary Tom X ray 6597. Another direction of travel out of the gate. There's a lot of stuff. This, we're crossing Middle Fiskville right now. There's a lot of stuff that goes down on Middle Fiskville a lot. too. The complainant believes meth is being cooked at the apartment. There's two females who live in the unit. And there's uh -oh. some smell coming from there. Air clear, 1026. That's not good. That's not good right, at all. To the clear, 22 to the south. Friday before you tune them in. FM 973. Okay, I'm going to switch it. I'm going to switch it. 4844157. Can you show me connected to the server? Dang, another armed individual. Man, there is so many calls right now about armed individuals. Additional unit with a ring cutter. Five, six, nine, you want me out, 
ten four seven four. All right. Garage. Uh, John and John, 8706. Light pole has been knocked down. There's no pole number, but it's one of the big uh, tall George Paul, 1071. Still rolling, coming up to head of right now. Looking for a place to pull over. 10-4. For a subject that refuses to leave, white male, black baseball cap, black shirt, gray pants, carrying a black backpack, and a uh, riding a black motorcycle. Riding a black bicycle. And WBQ I-13 is Annie and Charlie at 75 for T91. Currently on a traffic hazard, 3300 North 35 Northbound. I have a big old pistol in my. Yeah, uh, I have a big old pistol sitting right down here next to me. <laughs> so if somebody wants to carjack me, we're going to have a problem. Man, we are gonna have a problem with Man, the car jack. But I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah these yeah. areas are bad for carjackings, you're right. You know what is also really yeah, bad sure. in these areas? Juggings. Yeah, I'm gonna do one rounds up and down here in the middle and I'll go meet with the Juggings are really bad here too. There went a cop yeah, going well, north well, at, at high speeds. All right, I gotta run into the store real quick. I've got to pee Adam again. Adam seven hundred five, Adam eighty forty three. Subject's gonna be complainant's ex and father of her child, and they have shared the car throughout the relationship. All right. You guys watch the car. Over seven seven and over seven ten ten four. I'm putting on the burglary vehicle. And clear twenty three. Okay, I'll be right back. Dark green shirt, blue jeans, gray handgun, drinking and then pointing the gun. He's going to have a black and gray Tahoe. Henry's 480 clear. DCSO. Thanks. 95 on top. 10-31. Okay. Mr. Forty Three, I found known Bowman on Dalton Lane in North Dexter Cat. Last name Neil, common spelling, first name Dylan, D I L A S, and white male 52605. I don't have an ID on me. Edward 703, go ahead. Uh, can you just log uh, this name for me? It would be Nora Edward Edward Lincoln, first name Summer, common phone, over 0724-2001. And if you could see about a report, she'd be logging there on her with an indication of Thursday. The suspect should be named Michael. Uh, if you could run that Michael person for me, please. Ten for. Ten for. Non-grading. Out of seven eighty, clear your twenty-three. All right, their bathroom is out of order. Imagine that. 
<clears throat> Imagine their bathroom being out of order. I do have to find a bathroom. Or we're going to have problems. <laughs> or we are going to have some issues. For that unit. All right. Yeah, go ahead with it. Header 309 to 21 is 855 844 0 Yeah, these are going back around for that DSU violation. All right. Let's roll. Let's roll. I didn't hear the call come out, but there was just a few officers running north on 35 on the service road. I think we should go see what's up. Man, I see more Lyft and Uber drivers out here than anything. I see a ton of them. Ton of Lyft and Uber drivers. Man, I can't believe they run code three to a traffic hazard like something in the road i mean i guess i can kind of understand it if it's it could cause an accident or something but it blows my mind sometimes when i hear them say code three authorized for a traffic hazard is that a gas oh that is a gas station all right we're gonna stop y'all i'm sorry but i really gotta go to the bathroom from the outside. I really hope their bathroom is open. It's going to be apartment 1124. I sincerely hope their bathroom is open. And Edward 307 return. I don't know if this is a subject or not, but he's hanging around it. All right. I'll be right back, guys. Seven, it's going to be a 74 black 2015 Jeep. And the owner is going to be a Lauren Swanson. Correction, a Lauren Swanson out of Lubbock, Texas. Edward 703 to 307, he's 1074. I found him. The Michael Kittles. This is a black male, DeAndre Williams. So far, the only call text we have is a subject on the highway. Dispatch Edward 703. I'm also showing Kiros to be 1074. He was arrested on the 8th of this month for heat exposure. So we're going to be over against the uh, fence. Uh, they should drive down when you first come in on the south side of the complex. Three, three, seven, I said the wrong 28. Can I go with another one? 10 for it. Go with it. King Victor Lincoln, 7717. King Victor Lincoln, 7717. Clear on scene for a service at 7227 ATS 290. Complain and request the officers to get two juveniles. We'll ride home. I'm out with 7-9. 
for seven out of nine of two. There's code four, one to ten. What's code three? Uh, code three means, um, uh, you know, urgent, like an accident. That code three is where they uh, run lights and sirens, which a traffic hazard. You know, it's like something's in the road. It's just odd to me sometimes that they run lights and sirens to get something out of the road. But they are, uh, we can make it a while before we have to. It's leaking slow, but leaking. And you just on that disturbance urgent. Clint, it says that she has her two year old. And I think instead of putting coolant, I can just do water. So we're walking down yeah, that's what they told the me. South side of the building, that's getting slaughtered for her partner should be. All right. So, we're trying to confirm he did not make entry. Step four, call to confirm with the call figure. Okay, we are way too far north. We need to go back south. <coughs> KM, the code three is like basically highest, you know, high, the, uh, a hot shot call. They, uh, the cops would run code three, meaning lights and sirens. If you hear them on the radio say, you know, code three authorized, um, that means that they have authorization to run lights and sirens. A lot of times they have to get permission to run lights and sirens like that. Uh, I guess, you know, depending on the urgency of the call anyway. As I missed that one above Twitter, some alert message just even checking. Um, Warning that if you Thanks for telling me, man. I appreciate it. Seven out of nine or two, I would refer to ID card only. All right. Show that condition of bonds worker, Trump's Yeah, it's not bad, I'm telling you. X, you know, as far as engagement, X is perfect. But of course, um, my reach has grown from just local Austin. And since I've been doing a lot more national national news shows and, and some of these bigger internet based shows my uh, audience is, is growing outside of Austin so sooner or later we're going to reach the point where we're doing like Tim Cast IRL numbers you know 30, 40,000 people it's awesome Very thankful for you guys. Edwards, Honest uh, to God. You have no clue what it means to me that you guys watch this and, and trust my reporting. It, it blows my mind. You know, uh, two years ago, two and a half years ago, I was doing a nine to five job. I was an engineer uh, doing a nine to five job, watching people do this kind of job. And I always thought, man, it would be so awesome. Like, that's the dream job, to have that kind of job, right? And then suddenly I found myself actually doing it. And then last year I found myself doing it full time, like as a job, as a career. I was like, Jesus. And, you know, now it's like 
a lot of the, the my my circle of friends has changed. You know, now I'm, I'm friends with you know people that I've watched for a long time, and it just sometimes I have to sit back and think it just blows my mind that we're doing this. It still blows my mind to this day that I that I've been given this chance. But I'm going to tell you right now, I work harder now doing this than I ever did working on satellites and shit. This job, it's it's hard. It it it's it takes a lot. It takes a whole lot. Try heading into chill But it's because of you guys that I've been given this chance, and I will never forget that. I just want you to know that. I will never forget that. Driving around, I'll tell you what, driving around is the easy part. Walking, you know, when people realize that we hike miles a day uh, going through the green belts looking for homeless camps. That's the tiring part. You know, I was always, I've been wanting to get out and start exercising more. And then now I find myself hiking through the craziest terrain for miles a day. So that's the hard part. That and going into the camps, it's, it's dangerous, it's stressful, and you know, especially going in with a camera, it's stressful, it's dangerous. That 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 that'll get you. I didn't even know he said anything about me until today. Many true, I do pack heat. Yep, I do. I carry everywhere I go, I carry. Yeah, a thousand. We're over. Are we at over a thousand? Yeah. We only have. I think there's only. Current. Huh. Yeah, we have. Three thousand four hundred forty-five views. Currently watching though, like watching, it's a bad number. Six 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 hundred sixty-six. No, I take it back. It just updated. It's a thousand and eighteen. That's pretty awesome. Go ahead and three zero seven. And we have over close to thirty thousand impressions on it right now too. Not bad. I'll take it. I will take it. We have a unit on the traffic stop over the Charlie sector. Another bike rider about to get run over back there. Oh, 
So many true. I care what I carry. I carry a uh, a Smith and Wesson uh, M and P uh, Shield 40 caliber. I used to carry the M and P nine millimeter, and you know I, I could carry 13 rounds in it. But the Shield 40, it, you know, it's compact, but it's still a 40 caliber. I can only it only holds seven rounds. But that's okay. If you can't get the job done in seven rounds, then I think I got a good chance of getting the job done in seven rounds. And that M and P, man, it's a great gun. Very awesome gun. Could be male versus female, physical. Building ten. There's a trash fire on Riverside. I would advise everyone to carry, especially nowadays. Uh, you know, if you don't know how to shoot, or if you're not comfortable shooting, you know, take some lessons. Like Mike Cargill, Central Texas Gunworks. Man, that guy, you know, take some lessons from him. He is, uh, he is a pretty awesome guy. And, uh, you know, he knows what he's doing. And he's a great teacher. Get your... get your license and carry but here's the thing if you're not comfortable with the handgun and you don't really know how to use it please learn how to use it before you start carrying it I think that's the most important thing Go ahead. I'm going to be R2 with 7 out of 902. On 9th and San Jack's going to be that vehicle. They uh, abandoned it after the crash. 10 4 If you can roll APD this way, 28 out of Texas, Sam Lincoln Lincoln, 6989. 10 A little south of the June 12th. self-defense if seven doesn't get it done probably yeah you're right I'm telling you especially with the 40 caliber man that's got some stopping power yeah Mike is Mike's a friend of mine and Mike is awesome that guy he is really a, he is a really awesome guy uh, he you know I've been on his show come and talk it several times and, and I love I love going on his show took a class last week good job km that's awesome yep i'm telling you man the range range instructors if they're good they're good uh we are 183 going kind of east or north we're gonna head up to burnett road right now yeah we're just to the west of lamar i don't know if you see the double the the 183 above us I'm not even listening to the police radio right now. I'm just chatting. 
I'm sorry guys, I'm bumping my gums instead of doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I am very sorry. But I think that for the first night for this new format, this new show, whatever you want to call it, the new name, I think it was a pretty set pretty successful so far. Had a few hiccups in the very beginning, but I think all in all, we've been live now for, well, considering what we were live earlier, so about three and a half hours now. That was a curly mustache, what gray, was that? gray Hoover Dan shirt, and a gray sweatpants. That's perfect. I appreciate you working with me. I'm having radio issues with this in car. We really need to get our heads together. Got a lot to show you. Clear 1100 East Rundberg. Also to WR. Clear turning northbound on Crown Ridge. Please check by with Edward 409. Yeah, I have. We've been about six months now. We communicate a lot about the deaths. Dum 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 I think I'm going to walk over to, I think, 6604. They have a loud party going on over there. It might be related that they got mixed up on the address. A lot of shots fired calls and a lot of men with guns called. Man with a gun called tonight. Lots of them, actually. Subjects will be in Unit A. I wouldn't be surprised be if we didn't wake up tomorrow and find out there's been a homicide. And I'm not really kidding about that either. Baker, what was There goes a poke, poke. Indeed, before you, 3316, still run. No weapon, subject is intoxicated. It was physical, boyfriend versus girlfriend, still getting further. All right. Let's see where we going next. Super Nintendo Charlie is zero two good advice to the Trump Council. Let's see, can't wait to see what prevails at SCOTUS will further solidify his legend stat. Yeah, that, you know what, um, I've heard some talking that that should happen pretty soon. There should be, there should be a ruling coming out pretty soon. Good old Garza, you gotta love him, right? And if I have a three or four, five, three, and a half, also by a possible intox, Toronto CD was a male and I'm not another subject. Then 0 out of 92, Southside Wrecker, 1017. 2, 2, 4. Time, sir. Encounter units from Alpha Del Run. Subject is going to be a 35-year-old Hispanic female, a Sarah Ojeda, wearing black pajamas. Break in. Like to open up the door. Hey, boy. 
Oh, I'm a news geek too, believe me. I am a news geek. I, you know, I was thinking about, some time ago, I was thinking about doing a, you know how like uh, Tim Pool does, like he reads the news, talks yeah. about it, what he thinks about it. I was thinking about doing something like that, but for Austin news. But I really got it going. Ryan, the subject is yelling at the caller to get off her property. Subject vehicle to rent Mustang. 74, 2739, my name. Edward 74, go ahead. I see boy Edward Nora Ida Tom Edward Zebra. First name Anthony, Thomas Spelling, date of birth is 10-25-2006, Hispanic. Edward 74, clear. Man, I've got a lot of messages. Sixty-six oh eight Lexington. That's where we're going. Sixty-six oh eight Lexington. Adam 406 route 32, suspicious person, 13412, Caballero Cove. Plans for bringing a black and black hoodie and gray sweatpants. Keep going into the middle of the roadway. Alright, guys. I think I am going to end for tonight. It's 11 o'clock. We've been going now for, including the other stream, going on four hours. It was good night. Thanks, everyone, for being here. I will be back tomorrow night. It's maybe a little bit before 7, but by 7. You guys have no clue how much I appreciate everyone being here and everyone watching. 